human population and environment, there are several important definitions that you will need to remember. The first term is on birth rate or natality, which is the number of live births per thousand people. And then you have mortality, which is the death rate, that is the number of dead people or the number of people dying per thousand people living. After mortality and natality, you have what is called as age structure. In age structure, you have three major components. Pre-productive age group, which is 0 to 14. Reproductive age group, which is 14 to 45. And post-productive age group, which is in the age group of above 45. Now, depending on the age structure, you can draw the status of any given population on a graphical scale, which is called as a population pyramid. And in population pyramid, it consists of a horizontal axis with a perpendicular axis placed in the middle. On the one side, you have the males and the other side, you have the females. And this graph is based on the age structure, which is the pre-productive, pre-productive and post-productive. Now, depending on the population data, the population pyramid can occupy several different shapes, namely three major shapes. They are the pyramid shape, which is indicative of a rising population, the bell shape, which is indicative of a declining population or a dangerously stable population, and the urn shape, which is clearly indicative of a declining population. So these are the three or these are the three major types of population pyramids which is nothing but the graphical representation of the population demographics of a particular country at any given point of time. So these are the major technical terms that you will need to remember under human population and the environment. There are a number of miscellaneous topics also given under the same human population and environment topic and uh, they include the uh, major disease namely HIV and AIDS. Now it is very important to remember that HIV is the virus and AIDS is the condition that arises from the infection of a healthy person by the HIV virus. So HIV as you know is abbreviated, de abbreviated as human immunovirus which is a retrovirus and AIDS is de abbreviated as acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now, whenever you write an answer on HIV or AIDS, you must remember to mention these two D abbreviations and explain them and tell which is the virus and which is the cause. And you will have to mention the effects, you will have to mention the symptoms and most importantly, you must mention the modes of transmission of HIV to a healthy individual from an infected individual. Now, there are three major modes or Roots of transmission. The modes of transmission of HIV virus to a healthy individual from an infected individual are majorly three. Number one, through sexual intercourse or through unprotected sexual intercourse between an infected individual and a healthy individual. Number two is transfusion or infection with infected blood through sharing of needles or through blood transfusions which are unsanitary. And number three, through transplacental transmission from an infected mother to an unborn fetus while still in the womb. Now these are the major routes of transmission of HIV or AIDS which is very very important to be mentioned. Following the effects of HIV and AIDS, you have the role of information technology in environmental science. Here you must mention very clearly about the role of geographic information systems and remote sensing satellites on identifying natural resources, on identifying the crop productivity, crop yield and its impact in deciding issues of national policy including the national food policy and the national budget and the budget allocation for agriculture etc. You must be able to write constructive arguments based on these for the role of information technology in environmental science. And also you need to mention about the different kinds of databases that are available, particularly the ENVIS database that is a repository of environmental inf information which is available in different libraries throughout the nation. So database, geographical information system and remote sensing satellites are very very important. And apart from this you can also mention about global positioning satellites 
which is a network of different satellites orbiting the earth and they can pinpointly or uh, accurately point out the position of any given area and this is very very important from the environmental point of view both in identifying a particular area of environmental interest and also during collecting of samples for environmental studies. The most important components of any human population are the population of women which ensures the rise in population and the health of children which contributes to the future population of any given country. So women and child welfare is a very important topic in human population and the environment. Now it is very very easy to write any answer on this topic because you will basically have to mention about health and education in both women and children. For women you must also mention about self-help groups, about support groups, about Mahila Mandals etc. And for children you need to mention the importance of educating a child and also in preventing child labor and in ensuring that the rights of the child are properly addressed in the society.